Hi guys, Planetary I am here, coming at you with a Let's Play of Bill Nye the Science Guy's Stop the Rock game. Another PC game from when I was younger. I actually borrowed this game from the library when I was young, and I never completed it then, but years later I got the game back on a whim and I managed to complete it through the help of internet hints and such. Anyway, I'm going to try and complete it again, this time over the course of several videos. Here we go. Ah, the theme that got millennials fist pumping in middle school science class. <laughs> what traffic? There's just some random text going by and um, a blimp and some cacti. Oh no, am I on hallucinogens? Please let me out of here. Say hi to Bill for me, okay? Love the show. Yeah, smell you later, Holmes. Oh wait, this isn't Bel Air. No, actually, it's a pretty nice location here by the seaside. I think we're somewhere in the northwestern United States, actually. Alrighty, let's buzz in. Can I take your order, please? Yeah, can oh, I get a hey, number seven my with the? Uh, and I am so happy that you're here. Uh, Sign in, please. Just I thought you were gonna take my order. Line. Guess not. Okay, we're going to call ourselves Canada, because whether we win or lose, whether we succeed or fail, we can always say it's because of Canada. Okay, let us enter. So, are you looking to join Nye Labs, or do you just want to hang out? Okay, so if we just hang out, we don't get to experience the full gameplay. Some areas of the lab are off limits to us, so we're going to go right ahead and join Nye Labs. Great, we've been waiting for you. Hey, come on in! Don't mind if I do. Hmm, I wonder what happened if I mix this with some of Whoa! Now that's science! Or just special effects. Oh, not exactly the effect I was looking for. You didn't want to make something that turned you into Ziggy Stardust? I'm Chet Brinko with a special report. I'm acting right now. Can't you tell how convincingly I portray a news anchor with my constant head gyrations? This broadcast was not modified from its original version, nor was it formatted to fit your screen. If it's an exploder, shouldn't it be exploding the meteoroid? Then again, deflecting it would be better, because we wouldn't have little chunks of meteoroid to worry about after the explosion. on public reaction. Well, Chet, Max is good news to millions of people. And as you can see, they're dancing in the streets. This is Actually, not enough people cared, so they just threw on black and white stock footage to make it look more celebrated. Oh, right! Science rules! Hey, glad you're here. I've heard a lot about you. What have you heard about me? And from whom? We really need your brain power. You didn't answer my question. Hey, Bill's just called an emergency meeting. He wants you in the conference room. ASASP. And you're not going to. That's as soon as scientifically possible. I'm going to get cleaned up. Okay, go ahead and hide under the desk. You're going to miss the meeting altogether. Hey, have a seat. Bill's on his way. Looks like the other guy is just going to give me the cold shoulder. Okay, people. We have got a problem. A big one. Check it out. Her? Is she stalking you, Bill? Is that the problem? Dr. Veronique Dumais, I am one of the scientists who discovered the meteorite. Oh. I, I speak to you with the utmost urgency. Something has gone uh, terribly wrong. As you know, Max is a system. It's a network of the world's most Powerful computers. Yeah, we heard the broadcast, lady. We know. It's gone mad and developed a personality of its own. And now Mad Max will... No Mad Max, huh? Somebody should make a movie about that. ...on communicating with Nye Labs directly. We are putting the entire matter into your hands. Wow. Might even say, whoa. You might even say, whoa, Nelly. See what's up. 
Greetings, allegedly intelligent humans. Oh boy, another one of these HAL 9000 type characters. Relations with Earth are concerned, I'm practically clueless. What a rare scientific opportunity, letting impending Dume crash into the planet. Well, by that logic, the Chernobyl incident was another rare scientific opportunity. Almost any disaster can be a scientific opportunity if you think about it. The seven riddles. That's all I ask. Let's see if your brains can manage the task. If you beat the clock, I'll hijack that rock. Good luck, humans, and remember, impending Dume is but five days away. What say we play? Oh, well, uh, we've got our work cut out for us. Okay, we're gonna handle this the way an astronaut would. We're gonna remain calm, and we're gonna get the job done. Or we could go up into orbit where Max is and deal with it that way. That sounds like the way an astronaut would deal with it, right? How about you focus on everything that's rock-related? Bill, you know I'm ready to rock! Ooh, Gene Simmons has got nothing on that guy. You're deep into the science of the ocean. We'll count on you to tell us what's up down there. Bill, you know you can count on me to wash this Max thing up. I'm not Tsunami for nothing. Fake enthusiasm will get you nowhere, young lady. With the rest of the team. Captain Connie Vection reporting for Science Service. Connie, we have a situation with Max. Since you're our top gun in the sky... Top gun? She's flying a blimp, Bill, not a fighter jet. Fly up and shoot it down to us. Actually, just bringing it down would be fine. No need to shoot anything to us. Flying by. Uh, I mean, standing by. Come in, Swell. Swell Whitecap. Hey, is that Patchy the Pirate's cousin? Uh, ahoy and avast from the Poseidon too. I nigh. I be standing by. Aye, aye. Ah, Swell. Max is in serious condition. So until we know more up here, Hold your position down there! Understood, Bill. I'll hold my position. Keep my eye out. Yep, I think he might be related to Patchy. Well, the rest of our team is ready. But I'm going to have to count on you the most. I'm going to be working to reprogram Max and get him or her or it back on track. But it's up to you to get us going on those riddles. Oh, looks like our riddles have arrived. Okay, so these are the riddles we're going to have to solve in order to win the game. I'm going to just go over each one and tell you the difficulty of them. When you can't stand the heat where you can't take the pressure, prove there's a spot where life grows in great measure. This one's not the most difficult riddle, but it's not an easy one either. You have to go to a certain location to figure it out. Send me the heart of a hot-headed giant that chills out fast. It eats oceans and lakes, then strikes with a blast. This is a pretty easy one, but you have to be in the right place at the right time to solve it. Bring me something that lives on Earth, then blows up in the sky, where it never eats and doesn't die. Okay, this is kind of a weird one, and it's among the earliest riddles you have to solve. Find a river that flows over mountains that are tallest. Here you will find the largest living off the smallest. Okay, again, this one's not that easy, but it's not that hard, and you have to be in a certain place in order to figure it out. Discover a beast that ate fish by the sea and flew like a hawk. It wasn't a bird, and now it's a rock. This is among the easier riddles in the game, but you have to get stuff done in order to solve it. Find a sleeping dog with a churning stomach. When it shakes, it's awake. When it barks, you bake. Okay, this one you can't solve first. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Unlike you, with food we do not deal. But we are able to make a light meal. The game pretty much just gives you the answer to this one, so you can pretty much solve it first. Now, human, a few simple rules. You must submit your answers directly to me. Each riddle has something to do with planet Earth. Well, I guess we won't be going out into space then. Somewhere. But remember, you must find each answer and point it out to me. Good luck. You'll need it.
<laughs> well, now I feel scared. Well, now let's take science to the max. Let's get scientific. Doesn't have quite the same ring to it as Let's Get Dangerous, does it? You'll need one of these, a Nikon. There's a box of them down in the prop room. Just go out the door, take a left, get in the elevator, go down two floors. The prop room is right there, and so's the box. You can't miss it. Uh, Bill, you forgot your Nikon. Can I just take it? Or, I can't. Nope. Okay, I guess we have to go down to the prop room and get one ourselves. So it was out the door, take a left, and to the elevator. Oh, that's some nice elevator music they've got here. Okay, to the basement. And open. Doors open. Really? You can afford to put elevator music in here, but you can't make the doors open automatically. So here's the prop room. And I guess it's the only room that's down here. So let's see what they got for us. Oh, what's this? Yeah, a catapult. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Better than Jackson Pollock. Well, let's see what else is down here. A framed portrait of the Matterhorn, and is that a brain right there? It is. Okay, let's learn about the lobes in our brain. There's the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the temporal lobe. Great, now you know about the parts of the brain. Let's move on. And on this shelf, we have a milk carton, a bowl of eyeballs, a skeleton hand, and a hot air balloon. And they don't do anything when you click on them. Bummer. And over here, there's a microwave, a trumpet, a glow, and a microscope. And here's the Nikon box, which is the only thing we can click on on the shelf. Great! You found the Nikon! I programmed a couple of new features into it to help us out. The newest one is the Max button. Use this only when you're ready to submit an answer to Max. Then there's the Clue button. Use this to call other team members to see if you're onto something. We'll help you with the science. After all, we're scientists. Well, you're sort of in that category, Bill. The rest of these people seem to be actors. Why don't you choose a riddle right now to start with? Okay, where shall we start? This one, when you can't stand the heat, where you can't take the pressure, proof. Oh. A message. Hey, I've been pondering that riddle. A high-pressure riddle like this calls for high-pressure experiments. The kind you do at the NILAB's pressure chamber. Ah, so if you hover over these long enough, you can get hints as to where to find the answers to them. Let's try this one. I've been racking my brain about that riddle. Whatever it is, eats oceans and lakes. So it must be thirsty. Well, where there's thirst, there's water. What are you waiting for? Lead yourself to water. Very funny, Bill. Yeah, I forgot to mention there are a lot of puns in this game, so be prepared for a lot of eye rolling. Now for this one. Hey, I've been thinking about that riddle. Blows up in the sky. Well, if it has something to do with the sky, go find Captain Connie Vection. She's an ex-Air Force pilot who's down with what's up. Okay, so we have some idea of where to find that one. Let's see what they say for this one. Now, let's see that riddle you chose. A river that flows over mountains? Since it talks about the largest living off the smallest, well, maybe you should go look into small things at the micro lab. Yeah, small things are at the micro lab. Where were you thinking they'd be? Okay, this next one's not really that hard. I just want to see what Bill says in regards to it. About that riddle. It says, now it's a rock. Well, no one rocks more than that rockin' rock man, Sam Andreas. I'll send him down. 
Oh, please, no. I'd like to have someone less obnoxious help me in my scientific pursuits, Bill. Well, maybe I can get hints for the rest of these before he makes his way down. Now, I've been thinking about your riddle. A sleeping dog with a churning stomach. Well, the only dog around here is Pavlov, the dog of science. And he does like to eat. Okay, that really didn't help at all. This riddle can't be talking about an actual dog, I know that. Okay, last one. What is a light meal? Come on, Bill, haven't you ever been a broke college student? That's what 95% of your meals are. Right out, time to find clues for these riddles. Oh, ancient fish skeleton, I guess. What else is here? Portrait of Devil's Tower, I think that is, in Wyoming. Different types of rocks on the table here, along with some tools. What's in here? A skull! Okay, time to go. We know now what'll happen to us if we don't do what Bill asks. Let's get in the elevator. And make our way up to the first floor, which we will explore next time.